Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and lock your learning. This video we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 19 Speed, Time and Distance Exercise 19A Question 13. This one is a train is booked to do the run between two places 55 kilometers apart in 1 hour 20 minutes. Fine. So a train has to go from one place. Let's say that place is what? A. Fine. From here all the way to this place B. Like this. Fine. Now the uh, train will start from this point. Right. The distance between A and B is what? 55 kilometers. Right. So it is 55 kilometers and the train also has a time limit that much time only the train can take to go from A to B that is what 1 hour 20 minutes fine. Now let's read further it says if it travels for the first 30 kilometers at 36 kilometers per hour at what speed must it travel for the rest of the distance in order to complete the journey in time fine so it says that for uh, like from here it begins fine now the total distance is 55 kilometers and it has already traveled 30 kilometers fine so we know the distance traveled is what the distance traveled is equal to what 30 kilometers fine now 30 kilometers has already been traveled out of 55 now uh, and also the speed in which this train has traveled this much this much distance that is speed uh, the speed is what 36 kilometers per hour just six more than this fine now uh, this is the speed and this is the distance fine we do not know the time all right now it says at what speed must it travel for the rest of the distance in order to complete the journey in time now out of this third uh, forget about this 30 kilometers right now the time that this train took to complete this 30 minute uh, this 30 kilometers of distance that is what we will find for uh, find first why because you see that out of 55 30 has already been covered some time must also be taken right because you cannot cover 30 kilometer in just one second you need some time for that might be around half an hour or more than that as well so that time also we need why so that we get to know what is the remaining time right now see here now we calculate the time and we know time is equal to what um, distance upon the speed fine so so this becomes what this gives us 30 upon 36 and that will be 5 and 6 fine so 5 by 6 hours and and that this is in hours now uh, for our convenience we will convert this time into minutes fine um, so for converting hours into minutes we multiply by what 60 right so 110 so 50 minutes right so the train has taken 50 minutes uh, to complete this much distance of 30 kilometers fine okay now we need to find the remaining distance and the remaining time fine so forget uh, we do not need the distance traveled and the time taken anymore we don't need them so all we need is the remaining distance and the remaining time fine so have a look here will find the remaining distance fine first the distance so simply do 55 minus 35 fine sorry 30 not 35 30 right so we get 25 kilometers this is the remaining what distance 25 kilometers all right um, now we need to find the remaining time as well fine so we have the total time as 1 hour. Okay, see how are we doing it? To total distance minus the distance covered. Same goes for time. So, total time is 1 hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so convert that into minutes. 1 hour is 60 minutes and the remaining 20 minutes becomes 60 plus 20. 80 minutes, fine. Or if you want, you can do this thing written as well. 1 into 60 and all that. Okay, so we get here 80 minutes. Simple. 
total time becomes 80 minutes when the hours are converted into minutes and then both of them are added so total time is 80 minutes and the time taken is 50 minutes so 80 minus 50 so remaining time is what 30 minutes right this is the remaining um, time that is 30 minutes and now we convert this 30 minutes into hours as well why are we doing this because the distance is in kilometers and the time is in minutes sorry this is not m this is simply m i n fine minutes so uh, see distance is in kilometers and time is in minutes that cannot be possible either of them has to be changed right so we can do kilometer per hour or we can do meters per uh, seconds but since we have this in minutes so it will be easy to go from minutes to hours fine so 30 minutes becomes 30 upon 60 hours fine cancel this cancel this one and two right so we get one by two hours or half an hour more uh, more sim in more simple terms right so half an hour time is left out of one hour and 20 minutes and total uh, and the remaining distance is 25 kilometers so do this so we know that the speed now the main part of the question right we have to find the speed in the very end you can see for what speed must it travel right so the speed becomes what we know speed equals to distance upon the time right so solve this uh, let's so now we'll uh, input the value so distance remaining is 25 kilometers fine time remaining is half an hour right now here this one by two hours this has to be written as 25 upon one by two fine we cannot write this as 25 by two both of these things are different things right i mean you can write it but only if the case here is not one by two hours but two hours fine if it is one by two hours then oh, this only has to be written fine so 25 upon one by two this is because you don't get confused fine so 25 kilometers upon one but one by two hours so you can simply write it in this if it is not clearly visible 25 divided by one by two fine now we do the multiplication part so this will be multiplied 25 now division changes to multiplication second fraction will be reciprocated so 2 comes up 1 goes down so we get 2 simply right or if you want to mention you can mention 1 as well and at last 25 into 2 will give you 50 and forget about this 1 because it has no value so the our answer becomes 50 kilometers per hour at the end this becomes our answer right the final speed and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye